Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Bro, and it's time to review September 5, directed by Tim Fellbaum. This is about the ABC News team who was covering the Olympics in 1972, while the Israeli Olympic team was held hostage by a Palestinian militant group, and it's about them live covering the event. It was actually the first terrorist attack ever covered live on television. This film is primarily concerned with the role of media and journalistic ethics, and because it takes place at the dawn of a new technology, which is like vast multi-camera live broadcasting technology that they use on the Olympics. The film makes the point that this is a very cutting edge technology. The producers of ABC like don't necessarily know like what the lines are in terms of showing violence and they even reckon with like making a spectacle out of an event. And I thought this theme was pretty well explored. You can definitely take that moment in time all the way to now where any motherfucker with a phone can just start broadcasting and the content they produce can immediately be perceived as news and as fact. So I think the exploration of that idea works really well because they choose to tell the story at that pivotal moment in time. I think it does shed light on how often that line is crossed nowadays and how people don't even blink an eye when it is. Yeah, I think that the line is very different now. So although you can definitely draw parallels, I don't know if I felt like the movie had that Oppenheimer moment to me where it's like, oh my God, like, what have we done? Like, what are the, like, this is what the- Well, it does that on a much cut. lower It does it on a lower level. I guess I didn't feel that the movie has as much to chew on as something like an Oppenheimer there, but that's, yeah. that's a high bar. I think mainly the movie was just a very gripping, absorbing story about this very urgent event and these quick decisions that everybody's having to make in the newsroom about yeah. what to do. And then, you know, those moments where moral dilemmas do get in the way, like those are where the film really gets interesting. I think the movie is really well paced. It never lost my attention for a second, I would say. Yeah, and a lot of it takes place in that one location, which is just the newsroom. So you definitely have to commend Tim Fellbaum on making this chamber piece as exciting as it is. And, you know, the way that actual footage is incorporated into the film was also really well done. And the cinematography, which has a, a bit of a vintage look to it, definitely helped that archival footage feel like it was part of the, the world of the film. Yeah, unfortunately, I feel like it's easy to communicate the significance and the weight of the film in a pretty succinct manner. Like, I don't think this film is extremely deep. I think it's a good film, but not a great film. I think part of that is we don't really have a character to latch onto. And while John Majaro is the protagonist here, he's the one calling the shots. I got the sense very early on that, okay, I understand what this media apparatus is designed to do. Especially nowadays, we're familiar with the fact that media is designed to capture attention all the time, constantly, and it will trample anything that gets in the way of that. And so, as we're watching this apparatus operate the way it's supposed to, like, it's no surprise to me when the film kind of does reach that moral reckoning, because I'm like, okay, yeah, that's what was happening the whole time. I can see it with my two eyes every minute of this film, what is really going on here. And the protagonist isn't actually confronting these moral questions that often. Like, I think he is primarily concerned with getting that position, getting those bonuses. Yeah, but isn't that what's interesting it. about the movie? Is sure, that, but, but what I'm saying, yes, that's interesting about the movie, that is, that is the substance of the film, but at the same time, storytelling-wise, there's not that much to latch on to, because it's paced like a thriller. It's almost as though the film wants us to believe that these journalists are in charge of saving the day, like they're doing some kind of rescue oper operation. But really it's like this th these phone calls and these walkie talkies, like all we're doing is just positioning cameras around this event. Like that's what we're watching unfold. That's what we're supposed to be thrilled about. And I kind of felt a disconnect there because I know the movie wanted to be a thriller. It made the events thrilling, but also like I know that all I'm watching is just a media agency trying to capture events with cameras. It wasn't actually that exciting to me on a deeper level. Like it was just sort of superficially exciting. Yeah, well, I think a lot of the time there aren't these deeper questions going on and you are just interested in like, how are they gonna capture this? Like, how are they gonna get the footage for this? But right? it's about the heat of the moment, which is why these decisions become yeah. so difficult, right? Yeah, like, I sort of, I, 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 I agree. It kind of needs to establish, you know, that heat at the moment. But I do agree that sometimes we're so interested in what's going on in front of us that maybe character gets put in the back a bit. Even what you're saying with the decisions getting lost in the heat of the moment, it would have helped if we were put more deeply into a position of like desperation with that character. Like what if he truly thought everything was on the line for him, like his whole job? Then maybe we would have understood what that moment feels like more, but 
It kind of just feels like he knows what to do. Like he's a competent guy and he's figuring it out. I don't think the character was that interesting. I don't think it was just about the main character. I think that some of the players were interestingly set up, but I don't know if there was that big of a payoff. For example, like Lani Banesh's character has to deal with, you know, a couple moments where she's not treated like the other men are in the newsroom. It doesn't really like culminate in that much. Like, you know, it happens and then it's just, it just kind of is what it is. And then there's Ben Chaplin's character who feels very closely tied to the event and the emotion of it because he's Jewish. But I was kind of hoping for a, maybe a, a bigger moment with that character where his position collides with another character in a very strong way. And I also felt that way about Peter Sarsgaard's character who is the most concerned with kind of the bottom line and the Getting ratings. that bonus. I was kind of hoping that there'd be some more clashes, strong clashes with the characters right, and their right. viewpoints. Maybe just some more climaxes that are I agree like with, that. I, I agree that's what too, was yeah. lacking the most for me. I wish it just got a little deeper into perspective. I, I think that's what it's really missing is more subjectivity where it feels like we're kind of the newsroom, like we are the eye of ABC. And it is a little bit vacant to be that eye, right? Like this kind of point of the movie, but I know it's top of mind for many people that this film is dealing with an Israel and Palestine conflict at the core. In this real life event, the Palestinian militant group was asking for hundreds of hostages to be released from Israel. The film doesn't care to indulge into that question of like whether those hostages were being held wrongly by Israel or not. And the film is told from that Western European perspective where we just saw these people as terrorists. Like, I don't know if this would be an appropriate event to try to shed light onto the Palestinian plight. So the movie doesn't really do it. The movie was conceived of and shot before the Gaza war, before October 7th. So I can't really begrudge the film for not engaging in a more nuanced way. And it just sort of is happenstance that, you know, at this really critical point that we're at, where especially Palestine could use voices of understanding and of empathy, like this film is just not going to give it to you. It just feels like the film is sort of poorly timed, but not to a fault of their own. Yeah, it's not, it's more interested in yeah. journalism right. and coverage than it is about the event that's being covered. It doesn't feel like, oh my God, it's sorely missing, but it's just something to note, like that is the perspective of the film. If that bothers you, then hey, like don't go see it. So I would give this film a, a solid seven out of 10. Yeah, I'm on like the lighter side of a seven for it. Now we can talk about awards. This film premiered at Venice and then it came out at Telluride. Some pundits came out buzzing about this film and even putting it in their lists. It even got a number one slot in the Hollywood Reporter for Best Picture. I mean, I can see how you'd watch this film and think, you know, this is pretty up the Oscars alley. It's not that far off from a film like The Post or Spotlight or Argo. maybe Argo if it was a chamber film. But I'm just not seeing it. Like, I don't think that there's a ton of buzz on this movie outside of that little tiny Telluride pocket. I'm not convinced that the cast or the, the filmmaker has what would be needed to put people out in droves for the film. And so on its merits as like an Oscar contender alone to get people interested, I also just don't quite think it's a slam dunk in any way. I mean, I think the main problem to me is that I'm kind of looking at the whole cast, they're all being campaign supporting, and I'm not quite seeing anybody mm. who I think makes sense to be nominated. Again, as we said, we, we kind of felt a lack of you know, character or strong character moments and characters yeah. clashing. Like, I didn't see those moments that made me sold on anybody in the cast. For me to see this as the best picture movie, I at least have to see somebody in the ensemble going with that supporting buzz all the way to a nomination. I would be surprised if anyone got nominated for this film, even though I think there's a lot of really good performances. I also just realized all of the films that we compared it to are hero stories. They have somebody at the core who we're trying to celebrate, like the little unsung heroes of journalism or whatever. This film doesn't have that. It's more of a film that presents a moral gray area. I just don't think it's got that punch of even the films that we could compare it to that were nominated for Oscars. So after seeing it, I'm thinking that was a good movie. I don't know if it's super memorable. It'll probably just come and go. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna be predicting this in any categories after seeing it. I mean, the only other awards it could get outside of acting is like screenplay and editing. The editing is very good. Like if it was in best picture, Sure. I, I, could, I could see it. The screenplay, like, maybe it comes along as a lone nomination, but it's just maybe. not enough to me if I'm not seeing the actors. Like, I just don't, I'm not piecing this together and yeah. it's not making sense to me. I don't think this is a, a movie that rides well with critics either. 
I think they'll think it's do fine. Okay. Think it's I don't good. even think it will show up in the precursor. Awards. That's the thing. It's like it's not going to show up in CCA. Like, there's not that much interest in it. Yeah. Is it going to show up at like Globes? Is it going to show up at SAG? I just don't think so. I I think it's fake news. Funny we're talking about whether the movie itself is awards fake news when yeah. the film is kind of about you know fake news as well probably better honestly to see the film without any awards expectations because it's good there's something in there that's important but i don't think we're gonna see that many people calling this like a year best film you know that's my main thing if it does happen i'll just be really surprised thank you for watching thank you for subscribing do you trust our assessment of september 5th over some of the major trades